Hey guys, today I'm talking about our Toke Wi-Fi USB printer. Let's go ahead and open it up. As you can see, you get a nice carrying case for your copy machine. You also get a USB for the software. And you can also download the app from your, um, your Apple Store or the Android Store. Get your power adapter as well as your USB. Okay, now I'm going to show you guys how to set up your Toke printer. First, you want to power on your printer. You're going to see the Wi-Fi start flashing. You also need to download a program called Toke Printer from the Apple Store or the Android Store. After you download that and the Wi-Fi signal is on, just go to your settings and you're going to want to look for your Wi-Fi network TOEC. Go ahead and connect to it. There's a, there is a password which is 12345678. After you have your thermal copier connected to your phone via Wi-Fi, uh, just make sure that your settings are correct. So go back to the app, click search, make sure that TOEC is selected. If not, uh, when you try to print, it will say please connect printer. That's when you would go to search and select the Toke printer. Also make sure your setting is correct. Paper type, you want to do tattoo paper, not thermal paper. Also your lightness, you want it to be normal. After that is all set up, go ahead and load the app. Uh, the great thing about this program is you can actually take a picture of your stencil. I have a sample of praying hands here where I can actually go ahead and just take a picture of it. And I could load it onto the app. The only bad thing is you'll see the extra shadowing here, which will be picked up by the stencil machine if you try to make this copy. So you either need um, a lot of light when you take the picture or use a third-party app to lighten up the background to make sure that the, sh um, that the shadows don't get picked up. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and make a stencil. just want to let you know, um, here's a stencil paper. You want the pigment side down. Just go ahead and feed it through the top. Then you can go ahead and load up your app. I selected a image I downloaded on the phone and just click print. And you got your feed button right here, just in case you need to push out the rest of the paper. And there you go, you have a stencil.